Gee, nine-year-old Mike, what should we do next? Well, gosh, ten-year-old Derek, I suppose we could see what's on HBO. Awesome! So what should we do now? Yeah, we can see what's on Netflix. Okay. Hi, welcome back to It Came From Netflix. I'm Mike. I'm Derek. And we're here to tell you shit that you ought to watch. Yes. Um, this week's episode is regarding Henry, um, which is a Harrison Ford movie as Henry Turner. Um, Annette Benning is Sarah Turner, uh, Cammie and Allen, who play their daughter Rachel Turner, mm -hmm. um, and uh, Bill Nunn played Bradley, the guardian angel, basically. Uh, Physical therapist, but his character kind of gets painted as a, a guardian angel. Yeah, or an old wise man. You know, almost... Yeah, well, because he's a physical therapist, he's a psychological counselor, he's, you know, a magic man. Yeah. You know, um, oh, but oh, anyway, oh, okay. anyway, the basics of the plot are Henry Turner is uh, uh, an obsessed scumbag lawyer. Uh, he's a prick to his wife, he's a prick to his daughter, he's a prick to the people he works with, and it's just work, 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 work constantly. Uh, and he goes out for a pack of cigarettes one night, accidentally gets caught up in a holdup at the uh, uh, convenience store, and gets shot in the head by John Leguizamo. Yeah. Which is kind of how I felt after uh, Spawn. <laughs> yeah. And the pest. And yeah, everything and else John Leguizamo's done. Yeah. Uh, but I digress. Uh, yeah. But the, the point is, he shoots Henry in the head, and then... Well, Henry not just in the head, he shoots him in the shoulder. The head wound actually doesn't do as much damage. Um, the head wound was recoverable. Uh, the shot to the, to the shoulder, though, hits an artery, which causes him to bleed out, which causes reduced oxygen to the brain, which causes brain damage. Wow. Okay, so you paid more attention to I the medical did. shit I than paid, I did, apparently. I paid hella attention. Ah. But anyway, um, so he's brain damaged, and he completely forgets who he is and how he was, and the story is basically his journey of relearning who he is and reconnecting with his family and becoming a better person. The ultimate message of this J.J. Abrams penned story is uh, sometimes brain damage is good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, especially if you're a prick lawyer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, he's really underhanded in the beginning of the, the movie. Yeah. Uh, his, he's just mean to everybody. Uh, his daughter, he gets on her for spilling grape juice on the mm -hmm. piano and just is berating her. Goes in to apologize to her. And one of the greatest signs of... Uh, of uh, Narcissism? Uh, Jeffrey, or I'm sorry, Mike Nichols is directing here is how well he directed the girl who played Rachel because mm -hmm. she's just looking at him with that you are so full of shit look in her eyes when he's sitting there apologizing to her. Yeah, for apologizing, but not really apologizing. Yeah, that that lawyer, was kind of the point of the scene. Yeah, her. and uh, and she's just like, you know, she you could see her just flipping him off in the back of her mind. Yeah, yeah, it's just go ahead, just, just finish it, shut up, and go away. That was really the look on her face, oh. and, and it was really good. I'm kind of surprised she didn't stick with acting after that. Yeah, that's the only thing she's ever done. Um, uh, the things I remember the most about this movie when I was a kid was uh, my stepmom, Teresa, mm -hmm. uh, just hating this movie because there was the, the recovery sequence was way too rushed and the way he recovers his speech was definitely uh, gimmicky. Yeah, um, well, it's his it. Bradley, the guardian angel physical therapist, puts Tabasco sauce in his eggs and... Uh, feeds it to him without telling him so he's spitting out the eggs and he's losing it and he's like what do you want man tell me what you want I'll give you what you want and he's like 
Ritz. Well, I think he asked for water first and then Ritz <laughs> after that. But yeah, and then he gets obsessive about Ritz crackers. Yeah, he for really a couple likes of scenes. Ritz. Um, although I, I think the the rushing of the physical therapy is is more of a thing with the time constraint. Yeah. I mean, you've got a 90 minute movie and you've got to cram all of this story into it. Yeah, and you don't want it to do you don't want to do the standard 80s montage. Yeah, I mean, if if you really want to tell this story and, and take the time to do service to it, it would have to be a TV show. Yeah. It, it would just, it would need to be in a format that you could take more time to flesh out the characters and tell the story, you know, and, and really get across all your points. Um, and you mentioned earlier that he was a scumbag lawyer, and I just wanted to point out that one of the subplots of the movie is he goes back to the law firm uh, and basically everybody's whispering behind his back but he figures out that he had done something underhanded illegal and immoral uh, before he got shot and actually uh, works hard towards rectifying what he had done and helping the people that he hurt yeah um you know it's not just about uh, overhauling the relationship with his family but it's really a movie about him overhauling his entire life and you know coming up with a new set of priorities yeah, uh, this movie actually worked more for me now than it did when I was younger. Um, probably because I'm older and more mature and can understand the plot points a little bit better than I mm -hmm. when I was a kid. Um, all in all, it was a good movie. Harrison Ford is great in it. Yeah. Um, and like I said, all the acting and directing in this film were just top notch. Yeah. Um, and it's J.J. Abrams's um, Jeffrey Abrams's earliest work that I know of. Yeah, um, and and really showed promise for what he's become now. Yeah. Because it was a really, really tight story. And he was actually in it. He's yeah, the he delivery makes a cameo. Boy. Yeah, he yeah, actually lets Henry escape to go watch porno movies at one point. Yeah. <laughs> and eat a hot dog. But that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, just all in all, uh, a really fun, uh, pleasant movie. Um, um, emotional. Yeah, it's. Well, I don't know about pleasant. I mean, there's some pretty dark shit, but uh, yeah, but they I, come pleasant, back from the darkness. Yeah, no, it's it's uplifting. It's it's um it's a great redemption story, mm -hmm. and uh, a great story about bonding and, and reconnecting on a human level, and uh, it's unfortunately some people need to be shot in the head to become decent people. <laughs> I think they tend to be Republicans. <laughs> I'm sorry to all my conservative single friends. Anyway. All one of you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go check it out. It's on Netflix right now. And uh, enjoy it. We'll, and we'll see you next time. Uh, yeah, we'll be talking about Blues Brothers. So, thanks. Bye.